I should drink tea because my nose is stuffed. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do another tag video. I know I have been doing them a lot lately, but I have just been in a good mood about doing tags. So I hope you guys have enjoyed them so far. This tag is called the Makeup Shopping Tag and it is created by Chick Geek. There are 10 pro products, no. There are 10 questions in this tag, all about your shopping habits and so on so I will just go to answer them and if you want to do this tag feel free to do it yeah I don't want to take anyone specific because I'm a month late or so to the game if you have a youtube channel I would love for you to do it I would love to see it and hear answers and if you don't have a youtube channel or an instagram please do them in the comments below okay I'm drinking coffee and I'm burping so that's the first question is, where do you shop for makeup? Beauty Bay is the online store, if you can say like that, where I shop my makeup. I really don't shop anywhere else for makeup online. Um, otherwise, we have a drugstore here in Denmark called Matas. It, like, it is like a chain, so it, a really big one. And it has lots of brands and stuff like that. I have bought some online for that and in the store, so I mostly buy from there. So that is drugstore and they do, they do have some high-end as well. I don't really shop at Sephora. I've done it a few times and then Magazine is like Sephora. It's a Danish version, so it's really big. I shop there for a few times as well for makeup, but it's mostly Matas or Beauty Bay. So the second question is... What is your budget, high-end or drugstore prices? I don't have a normal job, so I don't have a high income, so it's really limited of the prices for the makeup or the beauty products in general that I buy. I'm a little snotty, <laughs> so I can't really talk. Um, so it is mostly drugstore prices. I don't know if that is going to change when I get a normal job with a higher income. Sometimes I like to treat myself, but right now it's only drugstore or, or like indie brands. Like BH Cosmetics is a brand that is really on my mind at the moment. And that is not too expensive, so it's still drugstore prices in my head. That really depends uh, on what the product is and what my need is. And then I can just justified by that. <laughs> I think I have answered this, but do you shop more online or in store? I would say I have been very good at shopping recently in the 2019 so far, but if I buy from Beauty Bay, it's not like one or two things. It is products that I have wanted for a longer time period, so I make a bigger order on Beauty Bay, so I don't do that as often. So I would say it is in stores in physical stores that I, bought, I, I buy more from. Why am I so stuffed so... I'm not, I don't have a cold. I don't know what is happening. Can't breathe. Question number four is, do you go makeup shopping with other people? Not all the time, but I do. One of my best friends that I met at boarding school, she is just as much into makeup as me. So if we give each other birthday or Christmas present, we kind of do it in one. We buy makeup for each other because we, we know what each other we like and what is good. If I do go makeup shopping, it is with her, but I also do it a lot by myself because we don't live near each other anymore. So we don't see each other as often as we have been. and. It is the friend that I talk about if I want to declutter some makeup and give it to one of my friends. It is her. It is Maren. Man. Man is an amazing person. I love you if you're watching. <laughs> Question number five is how do you talk yourself out of a purchase? If I see a product launching, I most of the times know if I like it or not. I'm really certain about my style and what I have in my collection. If it's a full neutral palette, I mostly won't buy it. Um, and the same with the price tag, so, yeah. But again, the price is often the, the thing that influences me the most to if I'm going to purchase it or not. I have a hard time talking myself out of the new W7 palettes if they, if they come in a cardboard packaging, because I have a, a little hoarder 
instinct that I want to collect them all and don't want to get rid of them even though I don't think they are really good when I have played around with them it's just a, a collection hoarder thing in me but that's the only thing I collect really and they are not that expensive so I can kind of justify it so it's okay I mostly just think about what is your style would you wear the colors or would you not wear the colors? Is it only neutral shades? Because then you don't need it because there is 10,000 pants of browns in your collection so you don't need any more of that. But if it is a half colorful, half neutral palette, I have a hard time trying myself out of it. I will say, one palette that comes to mind when I think about talking myself out of stuff, it is the Certify Infinity 2. I don't know, the green and blue palette. I'm not going to buy that because I don't wear green and blue that often. A panda's mind would think I will never go through that kind of shadows. And the makeup playtime makeup addict in me would love to have it to just play around with. But I think it would be a waste of money because I have a lot of blues and greens in my collection. So I can definitely do that. Not with the same amount of colors, but the same kind of colors. So. I hope that makes sense. So I think about my style and I try to be realistic about my style and if it is realistic for me or not to have that in my collection and how much use I will get out of it. And number six, what makeup product is your favorite to buy? I think that might be eyeshadow because that is the product that I buy most often. I think it's just eyeshadow. I don't like to buy blush and bronze or blush maybe. Uh, bronzer is very boring. Concealer and foundation is so boring to me. Um, correctors as well. Uh, brow products, no thank you. So I guess it is eyeshadow. Yeah, and mascara is boring too. Lipsticks, maybe. Eyeshadow and lipsticks are definitely the most fun for me to buy. Uh, number seven, what brand are you loyal to? I think that might be W7, even though I have come across some products that I really don't like. They are not bad products, but I think it's just me. That don't like them and some products aren't that good but i'm really loyal to w7 in the fact that i don't want to talk bad about them uh, duping other palettes and so on because i really like the cheap alternative right now because i don't have the money to buy the very expensive one because Huda Beauty and Anastasia is really, really expensive. So I just really like that W7 aren't and it is the same color scheme. I know the shadows aren't always great, but yeah. It is for another video. I'm sorry. Yeah, and so far BH Cosmetics is really killing it for the eyeshadows. Number eight, what other things do you spend fun money on? I spend my fun money on clothes, <laughs> shoes. And then I have a bullet journal, so I was stationary, and that is mostly stickers for my bullet journal setups, uh, monthly setups and stuff like that. And then uh, sometimes jewelry and hair thingies um, and decor for our new house. It's not that new because we have lived here for like five months now, but yeah. Number nine, who influenced you to buy the most makeup? It is partly... Marin, my best friend, Angelica Candy Quest and Annette's Makeup Corner because they do a lot of reviews and my best friend, we talk about makeup a lot. So it's mostly those people that influence me. Yeah. And then just in general, the social media, I think. But again, I'm very aware of my style and if I want to buy it. I really like watching Annette and Angelica, even though I'm not, I'm not going to buy that certain product. I just really like the makeup application. Thing. I, my battery died and then I took the my spare battery and it didn't have any power on it so that's awesome so we are down to the last question I think I answered number nine okay because I get influenced by youtubers of course social media friends that is mostly Mary and my best friend so because I don't really have any friends that is hugely into makeup like I am. Number 10, what was your last purchase? A Noble Nordic that I have a lip oil and my current mascara from that I really, really love. They had 25% on their website. So I bought two new backup of the mascara and a new lip oil because I'm actually very close at finishing it. <laughs> and I didn't even pan it. So um, it lives in my purse. So I bought 
uh, two backup of the mascara and the lip oil because I know I'm going to through those items. But that is my last purchase because that was a few days ago. So that is the last question. The questions will be linked in my description box or oh, just they will be listed in the description box, I should say. I'm going to go now because I obviously can't talk anymore. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tag and if you did, give it a like, subscribe down below to become a fan member. I would love to have you here. You should check out uh, the lovely lady that has created this chick geek. She will be listed down below and I, there are so many other people that have done this tag. So if you just search the makeup shopping tag, there will be a lot more to answer this tag if you are curious. And so until my next video, please take care. Bye.